from Government and Civil Employee Services. I'm here for our what? It's the fifth time now. Fifth. Uh, this is our fifth installment of Facebook Live. I'm here with Galen. Galen. Hi, guys. Yeah. How are you today? And uh, Megan Jones. Hi, guys. So here today, we're talking to you guys about salespeople to be aware of and how to do your homework, right? So one of the things that we constantly do is meet with people and talk to them about their retirement and benefits. And we walk into some pretty sticky situations. Um, and really, that's why we thought it was important to talk with you guys about this today. So, Galen, I know that you sit down with people and you've walked into some pretty rough situations regarding retirement. I have. I have. I can be, I remember this one case where I was meeting with the employee. I was going over their paycheck with them, and I noticed that they had two disability policies. Mm -hmm. And these two disability, disability policies that they had... They wouldn't have even paid out if the person needed to get that income. They were just sold too much. So t two disability policies. Now, granted, people can have two disability oh, yeah. policies, but this specific person, it was beyond the limit of which they would have ever been able to claim, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's really the uh, one of the things where they were paying. How long were they paying that? It was about six years. That wasn't wow. the alarming thing to me, though. The alarming thing was that the person was in two disability policies, they had about six months of sick leave on their own, and they weren't putting into their thrift savings plan, getting that free matching money with their, their 401k, their so 401k. So anyone that hasn't met with us yet, one of the things that we always recommend for federal employees is that you have to get that matching money. So that's always the first step. You shouldn't be buying two disability policies if you're not even saving for retirement. Right. You're basically betting on your chances of being disabled, not a good disability policy. Right. So, Megan, I know whenever you talk to people, too, uh, Megan is on the phone with people a lot, and even when you talk to them, they're confused. Everyone is confused. The majority, I talk to people daily, and, you know, they don't understand their TSP. They don't understand the options available to them. Oh, wow, three um, viewers. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi guys. So that's um, good. No, but they are very confused, and there is a sense of relief when I start explaining how their benefits work and that, you know, we do offer that service um, for a professional to explain their benefits to them, to educate them on their benefits. Yeah. I think it's really important, Megan, just to ask questions. You know, when you're sitting down with somebody, ask questions about what you've already purchased in the past. Somebody that's reputable, um, that they would know the answer to the question or at least know how to find out the answer to your question. Right. So our first point is ask questions. Right? Lots of as questions. many as possible. So whenever you're meeting with a salesperson, ask questions. I think it's important to ask questions about your employer-sponsored benefits, right? Uh, us at Government and Civil Employee Services, we or specialize in federal employee benefits, right? So whenever we sit down, we explain federal employee benefits to people. If you worked as a real estate agent or right. a state police, whatever it is, you should ask questions about your specific employer-sponsored benefits, mm -hmm. Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yeah. So our first point is ask questions. Our second point today is to Google them. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, what do you think is important about Googling them or what should you think you should look for online, Megan? I know when I talk to prospects on the phone, you know, I always give them our website. You know, go to our website, check us out. Um, there's broker check. There's the Department of Insurance online that you can go to and research a, you know, search for a producer. Um, Lots of different ways, lots so, of different resources. Broker Check is a great resource, guys. I'm actually going to post a link for that in uh, the comments below after we are done going live. We'll have the link for Broker Check if you guys ever want to check that out. If you have a salesperson, specifically in insurance and finance, um, you know these these tips really apply to anyone, They're any salesperson. Checks. You know, uh, it's not just about an insurance or finance salesperson. It's about anyone. You mm -hmm. know, Broker Check is specifically for uh, insurance and finance, though. So Google them, look for a website, um, look for them on LinkedIn. You can find them pretty much, any. you find just about anybody online. And someone who's been in this business for several years, uh, you should be able to find information yeah. about them in this yeah, industry, definitely. right? Yeah. So uh, number one, ask questions. Number two is Google them. Uh, and Megan, tell everyone what's number three. Number three is ask around at work. I mean... Um, I'm sure you have coworkers, similar benefit plans. Um, you know, Galen, who do they pe use? People pass Galen around post offices constantly. So, uh, yeah, I get referrals constantly. Consistently, the phone is ringing with, um, you know, a referral 
their coworker worked with Galen. You know, so, so um, ask around. Ask around at work. You can ask around at work. Do you guys know this person? Have you met with this person before? Even another tip would be, you know, if you're getting ready to retire and you know someone that retired a few years ago, call them and ask them who they dealt with. You know, Definitely. ask around at work. And how their experience was. You know, find out about the experience. It's the experience. Mm -hmm. It's the educational platform, the learning of the benefits and what you have. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, number one, ask questions. Galen, number two? Number two is Google. We live in a very technologically advanced age. You should know who you're dealing with at this point. And ask around. Ask your coworkers. Mm -hmm. Ask your friends, relatives. So so really what this comes down to, guys, is asking a lot of questions. Whenever you're meeting with salespeople, whether it's someone talking about retirement or whatever, educate yourself. We, we constantly talk about educate yourself, right? right? Ask questions, right? Ask, ask questions. And if anybody has a question now about their paycheck, they should definitely contact us, and we could go over that with you line by line so you are aware, and maybe you're in a similar situation like the story of the disability mm -hmm. policies. Right. We don't know until we look. Right? Yeah. Honestly, it's sometimes as easy as just going over your pay stub, which you get every two weeks. It is. So, yeah. Knowing your um, numbers. Ask questions. Yeah. Right? So, uh, guys, we want to thank you for joining us. You're always more than welcome to ask questions. I don't know if you guys noticed, we're sporting some new government and civil employee services <laughs> t shirts. Uh, so, fun. we're very excited about those as well. Um, but next week, we're going to be coming to you guys. We're going to be talking about honesty. I'm actually going to be meeting with. Uh, Bill McConnell, the author of Higher Honesty, um, and we're going to be talking about honesty is going to be our topic for next week. I think that seems to be a pretty good theme uh, so far this month. Um, do you have anything to add, Galen, before we go? Well, I just want everybody to um, think about what benefits they've purchased in the past and think how they mix with their spousal benefits and how that could be their future retirement. Mm -hmm. You know, just, just know what's out there. Know what's available. Make choices. Right. Also, whenever you're asking questions, I know that we talked about this yesterday. When you're asking questions, uh, or Megan, when you're setting appointments, I know that you always make sure the spouse is there. Right? I do. I always recommend, um, you know, the appointment time includes the spouse. You're not retiring alone. Whenever you retire, you have to look at the whole household. The entire so, household. Ask questions not just about your benefits, but about your spouse's benefits as well. You know, uh, but thanks guys for joining us. Uh, one of the things that we do want to let you guys know, if you're interested, you know, last week we were at Troy Allen Buick. Next week we're at Higher Honesty Corporation. Uh, if you're a business owner and you think that you have a tip related to finance or retirement, contact us. You know, we're definitely looking yeah. for more people. We plan on doing this every week. Um, now next week we are going to be on Friday. Uh, and then is it the... The following week will be Tuesdays at 2. Yeah. So um, there will be an announcement out there, a reminder, but we are going to be switching to Tuesdays. Yeah. It does make sense. Tuesdays at 2 are 2 cents live on Tuesdays at 2. Mm -hmm. My idea. Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so anyways, guys, uh, make sure you join us tomorrow in wishing Megan a happy birthday. Uh, her birthday is this weekend, so we're very happy uh, to celebrate it. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Megan. So, uh... Guys, We're not telling how old, so no. don't even ask. We might have a contest. We don't we know. <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, join us tomorrow. Uh, or join us tomorrow in telling Megan happy birthday. Join us next week on Friday uh, for talking about honesty. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Galen. Thanks, Megan. Right. See you guys. Right. See you have next a great week. Weekend.